Mr. Vice Chairman, I rise to associate myself fully with the resolution and the concern which has been expressed from all the various sections of the house regarding the urgent necessity of developing rural industries as time passes by we are reaching a situation in our rural areas where something desperate needs to be done immediately if we want to preserve the social stability of the country and also to see that full use is made of the time and talent of the people in the rural areas which go west today as has been pointed out in the resolution so the planning commission and the government of india have applied their minds to the various isolated aspects of rural industries and some valuable reports have been published and some important recommendations have been made in these reports which need consideration but unfortunately there is no high level decision regarding the various issues which face the country as far as the problem of rural industrialization is concerned we are not quite clear as to what first of all rural industries mean and what rural industrialization implies does rural industrialization mean the utilization of local resources in order to meet the local needs or does rural industrialization imply the creating of surplus in the rural areas which could be exchanged with the surplus in other centers of the country and thereby create a richer life for the rural areas various opinions have been expressed with regard to this problem but there is no authoritative determination of the policy regarding the meaning of rural industrialization it has been suggested that if such import of capital and skill from urban centers were to mean merely the multiplication of industrial centers in the rural areas such an industrialization of the rural areas would nullify the advantages that are likely to accrue as a result of the rural industrialization the time has come when some decision has to be taken as to what we really mean by this rural industrialization there is also difference of opinion regarding the authority that should undertake the responsibility for this rural industrialization from the literature that has been published in this connection it is quite obvious that two distinct and powerful schools have developed regarding this issue on the one hand there are people who believe that the task of rural industrialization should be entrusted to the village panchayats